Even though the Roman Catholic Church has a new pope, there mm -hmm. is no sign of a change in letting women be priests. Yeah, but over the weekend, a group of openly openly defied the church, and as Greta Cruz reports, they did it right here in our area. These women are about to defy the Catholic Church. At the non-Catholic First Christian Church in Falls Church Saturday, the ordination of three deacons and two priests, one of them Jolene Presley of Manassas. Following Christ means a difficult, it's a difficult path. We pray this in Jesus' name. I think this is, this is taking it the next step for me. Um, it's validating that call. Presley, a chaplain at Adventist Rehabilitation Hospital, is also married. Her husband's Methodist. But she said she couldn't give up her Catholic faith. Here I am. I am ready. So she's joined the Roman Catholic Women Priests Movement. Small but growing, it claims women were clerics in the early church. Women are answering God's call, and justice is rising up in the Roman Catholic Church. But the church considers this heresy, that attempts to ordain women goes against basic immutable church theology, and that the women taking part here today are automatically excommunicated. Still, Presley's family from Massachusetts supports her. They need priests because they're, they're shorter, shortage and everything else. They're right there in front of them, so why don't they accept them? So does her husband. I was absolutely proud, 100%. Women have a right to be ordained. Um, it's just not a man's game. Presley doesn't know what the fallout will be, but she says she's ready. Our newly ordained priest. Will you still consider yourself Roman Catholic? Yeah. Once Catholic, always Catholic. That's, that's who I am. In Falls Church, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News. And in a statement today, Bishop Paul Laverde called the ordinations absolutely invalid, saying the church, quoting here, does not have the authority to change her doctrine on the sacrament of holy orders, which has been passed down from our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a great sadness, he says, when Catholics choose to reject the truths of faith. I pray for their return to the fold, his words.